Moving on now, Antarctic researchers say thousands of baby emperor penguins drowned last year as the sea ice underneath the chicks melted and broke apart before they could develop the waterproof feathers that they need to swim in the ocean. For more on this, joining us live is Dr Barbara V. Necker, a senior research scientist at the Australian Antarctic Division. She's made dozens of visits to emperor penguin colonies. Thank you for your time, Doctor. These emperor penguins, I mean, we'll show some pictures to our viewers. They are so cute, so fluffy, so small. It's absolutely heartbreaking to learn that they're dying in droves. How many deaths in Antarctica are we talking about here and why is this happening? Thank you very much for the introduction, Ashley. Yes, look, it is an absolutely devastating situation, something that unfortunately we have been um, expecting in some ways for, for, quite some num for quite a number of years. Look, emperor penguins are superb divers and marvellously adapted to both life at sea as well as in the Antarctica. But the little pumpkins, the little beautiful, perfect grey fluff balls that you see here, um, it takes them nearly five months from the time they hatch to the time that they finally leave the colony, that they grow feathers which enable them to protect themselves, for, or to protect them from this very, very harsh environment. What is happening at the moment is particularly near the Antarctic Peninsula, which is the bit that is sort of stretching towards South America, is um, it is and has been for a number of years now one of the warmest regions and most quickly warming regions in Antarctica. So sea ice obviously doesn't thrive particularly well in warm waters. And uh, what we are beginning to see is that there is less and less fast ice where the penguins set up their colonies. And um, what is also concerning is that the quality of the ice seems to be deteriorating due to the influx of, of warm water. And um, unfortunately, the, um, the, the timing of these ice breakouts is really, really bad. Usually, a colony needs to persist until at least, say, mid to late December, preferably even a little bit longer, because emperor penguins are not all that synchronized. You know, they do everything roughly over a stretch of about six weeks. So some of the chicks um, are better off when um, when they hatch early. However, what happened at the peninsula last year was really, really unprecedented. We have never seen that um, several colonies were affected at the same time by the same phenomenon, which means that the fast ice, this stretch of ice that is attached to land, simply disappeared. And it it's difficult from satellite imagery to get a, an idea of the quality of the ice, but for something like that to happen, um, A, there must have been warm water, there possibly were some storms involved, but the ice probably was also not as thick as it has been in the past.